Hello everyone, Tina here for Paper Tray Ink. I hope you're having a fantastic day. I'm so glad you're joining me. Today we're going to create a card. We're using the Into the Blooms Poppies die set. This creates two beautiful poppies and we're also going to pair that with the new stamp set from the July 2023 release. It's called Garden Blessings. Beautiful sentiments in here. And then for my background, I'm going to bring in a corner die set. This is the Baroque corner die set. This creates some beautiful elements of cards. So I thought we'd put all of these together and create a friendship card. We're going to start by doing some die cutting with our Into the Blooms Poppies die set. To create the poppies, sometimes when you look at layering stamps, it kind of looks a little overwhelming, but I have to tell you, it's very easy to put together. I'm going to take some pink cardstock. This is Sweet Blush. And then I'm also going to take some Limeade Ice cardstock. These are from Paper Tray Ink. And then we're going to do some die cutting with the flowers on our pink blush and the leaves on our Limeade Ice. So we're going to go ahead and just layer all of the flower elements. The two pieces that look like a crown are the flower centers. So I'm going to bring in some dark gray cardstock. This is Smoky Shadow for those. Poppies have that nice dark center and I think Smoky Shadow is going to work great with that. Since we're die cutting, I'm going to take my cornered Baroque pieces and I'll also take a panel. This panel measures three and a half inches wide by five and a quarter inches tall. And I'm going to go ahead and add these corners on this panel, evenly spacing them on that bottom edge. I might need to tape these down so they don't shift. And then I'll run everything through my die cut machine and I'll be right back. I have everything die cut and isn't this gorgeous? Look how pretty this is. I just think that's gorgeous. We're going to put this along with our card base off to the side and then we're going to build some poppies. The largest poppy has five layers, including the stamen, and then you have the smaller poppy has four layers, and then you have the bud that has two layers. Now before we layer these together, I'm going to bring in my ink. I have my pure poppy ink, which is a red ink, and I'm going to use my finger dauber and I'm going to add a little bit of color to some of the areas of my poppy. For the most part, I want to use my red ink on the, the foremost layers. And I want to kind of fade out. I think that looks good. You want to zoom in a little bit. I'm going to zoom in a little bit so you can see some better. And then I'm also going to add a little color here. There's some de there's some deboss detail on here, which makes it really nice. I want to add a little color here. And then for this one, we're going to add a little color in this back area. And I think that's, it looks like a hot mess, but once you do add the layers, it's going to come together beautifully. I'm going to add a little bit of red to the very top of the flower bud also. So I'll take one up and I'll take this layer here. I'll add a foam square. This layer here goes along this top edge. These, this top edge is the same right here. You can just kind of line it up. You see how it all lines up beautifully. And then we can add this layer here. I don't want it. Well, let's add another one. And I'm going to use another foam square. And of course, if you don't want all of this dimension, you don't have to add it. This layer goes here. 
basically right in the center. And then we're going to go ahead and use some glue. And then we are going to layer this one right over the bottom and it lines up perfectly. Actually, I want to add my stamen. I put some glue behind here and this just fits right in like a puzzle right over the, isn't that gorgeous? I just think that's so pretty. So that's one flower. And then for this flower, it's just as easy. I am gonna, however, put some foam tape. I'm gonna add foam tape behind this layer. We'll take this layer and we're gonna just line it up Let me show you. On this side here, it lines up beautifully, but we have a little bit of dimension there. And then we'll take this piece, add some glue behind here, and we can tack this down right over the top. And then we'll take our stamen, we'll add some glue behind here, and then this just layers perfectly right here. And that's our second poppy. Aren't those gorgeous? So super easy to put together. For the poppy bud, I just add a little glue at the very top. And then using my craft pick here, we add it where all the ridges. This fits in like a puzzle piece also. The ridges go down, facing down on this one. So our poppy bud is done. Now, I did end up die cutting out one more stem, so we have two of the same. And I'm going to add this with a little bit of glue. And we can add our poppy bud here. We'll go ahead and add our last flower. Now we need to add our leaves. I am gonna add a little bit of color. I have my new leaf ink over here and a finger dauber. We're gonna add just a little bit of color to those edges of the leaf here. Back around of my card, I'm gonna use the same Limeade Ice cardstock. I just created an A2 panel. I'm gonna adhere that directly to my card base using my tape runner. And then I have my panel. Again, this measures three and a half inches wide by five and a quarter inches tall. And I'm gonna place this at the very bottom. Now, I'm not sure if I wanna put some color behind here. Let's see what white looks like behind there. Let's see what white looks like behind here. I think I'm gonna add white behind here. It kind of softens it a little bit. So I'm gonna go ahead and take a piece of white cardstock where I want my poppies to go. This way we can add our sentiment. And you know what? I decided to, I think that's gonna look good. And I think the flower bed's too much for this card because we have that filigree on the bottom. So I have just enough room to stamp my sentiment. I'm torn between you are such a blessing in my life and friendship is the only flower that blooms. And I think I'm going to go with you are such a blessing in my life. I think that's going to go really well with this elegant card here. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and take my panel. I'm going to place it in my stamping positioner. And then I'll treat my paper with my anti-static powder tool. I'm going to ink up my sentiment with my Versamark ink. I'm going to go ahead and stamp that in the upper right corner. I'm going to go over this with some white embossing powder.
and I'll use my heat gun and we'll melt this. Okay, I'm gonna take this panel. We're gonna add some adhesive behind here. I'm gonna tack this down and when I do, I'm gonna go all the way to the bottom, centering it. I just think that looks gorgeous. I'm gonna go ahead and trim away what's overhanging off the very bottom. And I'm gonna add a few gems, but I don't want too many because I don't wanna take away from the, um, the poppies, but I am gonna add just the itty bitty ones here in the Paper Tray Ink Rainbow Gem Set. We're gonna add the tiniest gems Not too many. And then that will complete my card today for Paper Tray Ink. I thank you so much for joining me. Have a fabulous day. And we will see you again real soon. Bye-bye.